Now seeing nearly seven hours of video that shows the moments the man accused of killing a Blount County deputy was arrested and then transferred into Blount County custody from Knoxville. Kenneth DeHart is the man accused of shooting and killing Deputy Greg McCowan and injuring Deputy Shelby Eggers. Our Will Pocket has spent the day along with some other members of our team watching this video. A lot to dig through here, Will. Yeah, Ted, seven hours worth of video at five. We saw the process of DeHart getting transferred and booked into the detention center. Now the video we're about to show you is him in the back of that Blunt County deputy's car. You allowing this, man? Who are you? And how did you get in my kitchen? You black? You allowing this? You allowing this, man? This right here is the first time we see him alone in the back of a police cruiser, driven by two deputies in Blunt County for nearly 30 minutes. He has that shiner on his eye, which was there when he was loaded in the back of that car, and for the 30 minutes he ride handcuffed in the back. Beat my glasses off of me, so I ain't let him. I can't see. <laughs> DeHart speaks to the two deputies multiple times along the 30 minute ride. He identifies the deputy driving as a black man and asks why he's letting them do this to him. Neither of those deputies ever respond. You heard right there before the beginning somebody saying be easy guys. This is now how DeHart is taken out of that police cruiser in the Sally Port and then is huddled around by deputies for some time. At 5 o'clock we actually showed you this from a different angle, the 360 degree angle from above. He is then taken inside the detention center and booked. Again, we're showing you just a small portion of seven hours worth of video brought to just a few short minutes to show how that man was detained, transported, and then booked into the Blunt County Justice Center. Now, we'll kind of clear this up. This time in the car is the only audio and close-up video that we have of the suspect. We have a front-facing camera where you only see the suspect being put in the back of the cruiser, and then you see him in the back of that cruiser. Only those two pieces of video, about 37 minutes in their entirety, the only time they have video or audio at any point. Security from inside the detention center was given to us with no audio attached. All of that, however, shows the process of which he was booked and moved throughout the facility until he's taken to Loudoun County, Ted. All right, Will Puckett, thank you very much. Of course, more on this, of course, folks, coming up in our later newscasts. Meanwhile, his girlfriend, Carrie Matthews, was back in court in Sevier County. She's accused of helping evade arrest by tipping him off over the phone that officers had come to the home the night of the shooting. Today, she waived her preliminary hearing. She is scheduled back in court in May. Here are the two other suspects accused of helping him get away from police. His brother, Marcus, is accused of accessory after the fact. Will be back in court the 25th, bonding out of jail last month. Maurice Warren is also charged with accessory after the fact, accused of buying two cell phones and two SIM cards for the suspect. He's back in court April 5th. Much more on this ahead on WVLT News.